another day another dollar traders welcome welcome to another mighty video my name is marcel and you already know that i am mighty today i have another recap for you guys another recap in which i'm going to show you the stocks i traded how much money i was able to make or lose here in the markets and you know a little bit of a summary of the crazy day we had today a lot of stocks you know popping up a lot of stocks with breaking news a lot of big flushes a lot of big reversals essentially today we have a we had a lot a lot of volatility you know the saying volatility with volatility comes opportunity but with volatility you know comes higher risk as well um so you know i, I was able to finish up ahead two dollars over four thousand um which i'm definitely gonna take here um yeah crazy day you know i was focused all morning i was cutting my cutting my losers very quickly because i knew we could easily flush i was trying my hold i was trying to hold my winners a little longer because i knew that the curls we were seeing were big like you know i knew that the range on this day was very big look big flushes massive curls big flushes massive curls and i was trying to you know if the bottom of my dip was not sticking i was out i was out i was out i was out but if the bottom did stick, I was holding, holding for the bigger move, holding for the high day target, holding for the high day breakout. So I'm going to ask for you to leave a like. I really appreciate it. And it keeps me motivated to make these videos. Um, yeah, crazy day. So let's do a quick recap from our biggest winners. GDC. This was on my watch list earlier in the morning. Um, if we can actually, let's take a look at uh, our watch list and see how that pan out so this is mmu this is my trading program it is my premium premium trading course in which i'm going to teach you how to go from a beginner trader all the way up to somebody that understands advanced like trading technical analysis how to read news um and you know technical strategies so this is my, my my game plan this morning morning everybody happy month well today's not monday today's tuesday so i screwed up there fresh stocks i had on watch was gdc it was a leading gapper we have some resistance at 771 which is up to 100 ema it's far away enough so that we can see a breakout through 750 um, which aligns with pre-market highs right so 750 was the market highs 750 is a psychological level of resistance when two setups and when two entries are aligning i usually like that so i usually you know, I'm, I'm more aggressive in those type of trades. We did have resistance at 771, which if you go back to the daily chart, it is our 200 EMA. But at that time, we were trading around $7. So I felt like from seven bucks to 770, it's enough room for us to take a trade. Right, so uh, this, is how it look, this is how we were looking at this morning. That would have been pre-market high, 746. And this is my first trade I took. A push for highs. A push towards high of day. So, um, again, I knew that if we broke 746, that level was close enough for us to pop over 750. We, we went up all the way up to a high of 757, which is not that much. It's a 7 cent breakout, but if you're fast, you can capitalize on that. Unfortunately, this is a breakout that didn't work out because it didn't hold up. And this is, this is what we would call a false breakout. But if you're a microscoper, if you're relentless about taking profits, and if you're fast, like I am, this is still a winning trade, right? So I was jumping in here, buying as this thing was pushing higher. And once the moment we broke 750, I sold the entire thing. And the reason why this was a false breakout, because too many people sold over 750 creating an imbalance to the sell side and then a reversal you know down flushing down that is what happened right here. that's what happened right here um we got the exact same trade here again but then now we actually found resistance at the 200 sma of 771 we curled down this is, this is what i'm saying look at these massive flushes but then but then look at these massive recoveries massive flush massive recovery massive flush massive recovery massive flush massive recovery um you know, this is why today was so tricky because we didn't we didn't have a linear stair stepping up price action. 
usually we want to see stocks start to step up. Um, you know, that's the cleanest way to, you know, to move higher. You're still stepping up. What we saw today was this. Going higher, a little bit higher every, you know, each time. But still, the probabilities of you getting caught in some, some nasty flush were high today. So today, even though I'm nicely in the green, I really, fe I really felt that it was a hard day. You know, a day that, you know, even good traders could easily have been caught on the on the red side. If you got caught one of these or this, that's max loss already and you're done, right? So I, I felt like I did a good job starting slow. Um, you know, everything was moving into the open, so I didn't know which was the obvious one. So slow and steady at first and then, and then GDC. So I didn't, I didn't make 2000 bucks on this move right here. I only made like, this was like a $500 trade. But once this thing cleared the 200 SMA and it proved itself, you can see how, you know, the reason why we're whipping around everywhere because we are in a total war. We don't know if the bulls are in control. We, we don't know if the bears are in control. It is just a massive battle against bulls and bears, right? Once we clear such an obvious level of, of, of resistance, like the 200 SMA 771, we can finally see the change. Look at this move, right? This move, we no longer have a tug of war. We clearly can see that the bulls are in control. Once, once I ha have that feeling that the bulls are in control and that the short sellers are getting out of the way, that's when you can push it. That's when I got aggressive. A nice dip and drip. Oh, this was a nice dip and drip. This was a nice dip and drip that I'll show you here. I actually had a nice, had a nice call out here. I want to see if anybody capitalized on it. These are the members in our community. Um, so big shout outs to them. So this was a 1032. Watching a dip and drip out of this halt if it resumes high. If it resumes lower, I would watch a breakout of nine. It resumes at 3416. 30, nice. So it looks like Spartan was able to catch it. So let's go, let's pull up my lettering archives and take a look at that. 3416. I assume that is 103416. While I do that, why not leave a like? I really appreciate it if you, if you would do that. Um, it really goes a long way. Although it may sound insignificant, I really appreciate it. And it really motivates me for me to see that these videos are helpful. Because the last thing I want to be doing is just coming up here and bragging. And be like, hey, I made $4,000 and you only made a hundred. Ha ha ha. That's the last thing I want to do. So. The likes let me know that you actually learned something today or like this video was useful in some way rather than me just showing off showing off my PL. So if you leave a like that tells me that you are learning something and it makes me feel better because I, I think like, okay, whatever I'm doing in my recaps actually helps someone some way instead of just me coming here just to show up. So, you know, please leave a like. It shows me like, okay, you're not just bragging but I actually find your content helpful. All right, so it was nine, it was 10, 10.34. Okay, here we are, so we'll hold it. I was already up a thousand bucks from some from trades earlier, that one I said at the beginning, and And resumption price is every five minutes. 29 plus five minutes is 34, right? 29.16 plus five minutes is 34.16. I made the call out around, you know, and I'm always in the chat room, right? So if you want to see my call outs, if you want to hang out with me in the chat room while we trade, I'm always here. Uh, dip and drip, which is one of the edges we teach, or a lower resumption, which would give an opportunity to catch the re-break of nine. Let's see. 10 seconds here, watching. I'm watching at the level two now, getting ready to roll. So I'm gonna pause this so we can dissect what happens. So we resume lower, right? We resume lower. This is usually bearish, but on, in this context that we are clearing the 200 SMA and that, you know, bulls are in control. This is bearish, yeah, but at the same time, we, we have only had one minute pullback and this also gives an opportunity for people that haven't jumped in the train to catch a dip. There's nine. 
And I jumped in again for the break of nine. And there it is, 20 cents of profit. 1,500 shares of 300 bucks and realized and you know quick trade so what i gotta keep what i keep telling my my viewers is that the moment my average entry appears here is not the moment i hit the i hit the i hit the hockey there's a delay between me hitting the hockey and actually being long on the back end versus stink or swim reflecting that remember i'm executing a whole dash so this is this is where i probably punch it let's see five seconds for assumption two one so it zooms lower, watching. There's some green on the tape. Probably punches somewhere around here, 902. So I'm long. I already hit my hockey, as you can see down here. I accepted to buy 1,500 shares. So the order already went through, right? I'm already long at 9 or 902. Um, and only until then, Tinkostream cashes up and shows me the position. But anyways, look at that. 30 cent breakout. 40 cent breakout. Oh, blah, 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 beauty. Watch that again. Now I'm, now, I'm not, now I'm not gonna pause it. Watching. Here we go. Three, two, one. Lower assumption. Green the tape long. Mm, mm, mm. Nine fifty dip. Ooh. So I'm in a nine. I'm in a nine forty six. You know, trying to catch a micro pullback. For 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 some time, I'm red there. And I just sell a break even. I was red and realized like 20 cents. And the moment he came back to break even, I'm like, nope, I'm out of this. But anyways, that's some trades right there. Um, again, if you want to see, if you want to see the full live archive, um, I do provide that in my, in my website, which is my trading program. The first thing down below, we are running our biggest sale ever, which is going to expire May 25th. We're also running this challenge that if you want to get a chance of winning MMU, a free membership. It's, it's got to follow the instructions to participate, right? And this is all we, all we provide. In my opinion, of course, I'm biased. It's a lot of value for 290 bucks, right? But anyways, um, feel free to check that out. So that was GDC. What else did I trade? FIO. Um, this was another leading gap that I had on watch. Trickier one. Only took one trade on it. Well, actually two trades. A, a breakout through VWAP and then a bounce off of the hold down, which resumed significantly lower. Um, again, strategies that we teach in the classes. Um, but yeah, it was a very, very solid day for me. Hopefully you guys were able to end in the green. Again, today was tough and you could have very easily been caught on the wrong side. So if you're red, don't beat yourself up, but instead go back to your recordings and see what went wrong, what went right, and create a little bit of a game plan for tomorrow. Because we are in a hit or miss market, kind of hot, kind of wild. So, you know, if tomorrow you, you went deeply into the red, into the open, because you didn't know what the obvious stock was, maybe for tomorrow, you know, create a game plan after reviewing your metrics and your recordings and be like, maybe for tomorrow, I'm going to start a little bit slower. And then once I see the one that is, you know, start stepping up, that's when I'm going to get aggressive. Or maybe, maybe flushes are a little bit too wild. Maybe dips of view up are not getting bought up and I'm getting caught on flushes. Okay, maybe tomorrow just for that, right? So don't be too hard on yourself. The only thing you can do is, is to, is to actively try to improve, try to get a little better. Heck, if you can try to get a little less bad, that's even a win by itself. So go to your archives um, and, you know, let's get ready for tomorrow right for mu members um you can you can check out the full trading session in our website all right take it easy fellas stay safe stay green peace